Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's no secret that I watch a lot of YouTube videos and when this one popped up on my feed, I had to check it out. The YouTube channel is handcrafted by Jason Cooper and he did a great job showing you how to make this really cool five-pointed star from a cedar fence picket. Now as you might guess from the name of his channel, he does not use a CNC for this, just a table saw and a jig to make the angled cuts. As I was watching him go through all the steps, I was thinking to myself that this would be a very easy project to design and run on the CNC. So let's take a look at how I drew this up. Okay, I drew this up in VCarve Pro, so let me open up the file that uh, I was using. This is uh, the, the star that I drew up. Uh, it's uh, 18 inch diameter, which means it's a circle touching all the tips here. The inside star, I made a diameter of 5.208, and I'm really not sure how I come up with that oddball number. I guess I was just playing around with it until I got, got something that looked right to me. But uh, this is so easy to draw that I want to go through and show you real quick how, uh, how I did this. So I come up here to the star icon in uh, the Vectric Draw menu and I just start drawing a star and then I come over here and now they show this in radius so uh, 18 diameter would be 9 inch radius so I make that 9 and this inner radius percentage I played around with that and 40 was what I liked the best so uh, we're gonna make this star uh, whoops let me get rid of that one uh, and if I want to check this I can come and draw a circle here and you'll see maybe you can see that it says diameter 18 so now to draw the inside star I just hit star again and I'm just gonna come start drawing this and I come over here to where the radius is and I have to convert that diameter to radius, so it's 5.208 divided by 2, and then hit equals, and then click apply, and then close that. And there we have the circle, on the in, or star on the inside. And now it's really easy, it's just a matter of hitting the line command, and coming up here to the, let me go ahead and delete this uh, circle get it out of the way so I hit the line command come up here to the points on the big star and draw a line coming down to the points on the little star and then I just hit the space bar which will end that command and then keep me in the line drawing mode And once I get those five lines drawn, I want to do the same thing coming from this inside point of the big star to the inside point of the little star. And that is really all there is to it. Now that I've got that done, you just have to think of this as a left and a right, and you need five sets of those. So what I did is once I got this draw done, uh, star done, I made a copy of it, moved it over here, and then I put out my trim tool. And if I want this, save this left piece here, I'll just cut this right here. Okay, so there's my left, and if I want a, a right piece, I can just come right here, and there is a right piece, and then it's just a matter of getting rid of this other stuff, because I don't need it. Okay, here you can see that I've got uh, this set up for my piece of my cedar picket. I bought uh, some cedar pickets from Lowe's. Um, and they were six foot long by five and uh, five and a half inches wide. So I cut four pieces uh, 18 inches long and then used three of them um, here to run a total of 12 parts or 
six lefts and six right. You can see here I've got 18 by five and a half by six or uh, five eighths. Uh, it was a little less than five eighths, but I just put five eighths and at the origin in the center, and then I also told her to that I would set my Z zero off the machine bed. So if we come over here and look and see how I did the tool path, I used a let's see if I can get this. There we go. Uh, I just used a Jenny bit uh, from Cadence Manufacturing and Design. Uh, it's the original Jenny, which is a compression bit. And the part number is 8675309. So good luck getting that out of your head the rest of the day. But uh, anyway, it did a really good job. And you can see I've now got two left and two right. And again, I wrote, ran three of these blanks so that I would have a total of 12. And I need 10 for the star, and then in just a minute you'll see what I do with the extra two pieces. As I started running this, I realized that one of my clamps was way too long, so I decided while I'm, while I'm at it, I might as well shorten that, and there we go, that's better. Since I was only going to make one of these, it wasn't worth building a jig to use to glue them together. So I just did the best I could and put them on the uh, scrap piece of high density polyethylene because the glue won't stick to that. And just tried to line them up the best I could and then put some uh, coffee jars that I have a bunch of lead type in them. So they're uh, pretty heavy and uh, it worked out pretty good. And here you can see what the extra two pieces are for. They help you uh, have a straight edge where you can put a clamp on it. I started by just gluing up the right and left pairs. And then once I got all five pairs of those glued up, I glued uh, two of the pairs together. And then once that was done, I glued those two pairs together. And then that way I only had one uh, point of the star that I had to add in for the final glue up. After all the glue had dried I did a little light hand sanding and then took it outside and put a couple of coats of some clear polyurethane on it and I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, so much in fact that I took a scrap piece of plywood and made another star. For this one, I decided to use kind of a distressed uh, American flag theme. And you can see I've got some red. The white is just uh, some spray paint that I had. And I used a torch to kind of burn it underneath before I put the stain and paint on there so it would show through. And uh, I've got uh, some barn red Minwax stain and some navy blue um, Minwax stain. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any future videos that I upload. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.